What's up everybody and welcome to my TNA Impact Wrestling Review Wednesday nights again of course TNA is on that night now it's a little confusing catching up with it but it's on Wednesday nights pretty much kick off the show with Kurt Angle is up top in the crowd talking about what's going to happen tonight um, with EC3 versus Rhino and the tag team title series match to go on the series with Team 3D, the Hardys, and the Wolves. And the sit down thing that we're going to do with, with Bobby Roode and Eric Young the, to determine who's going to be the number one contender to fight Lashley for the title. But MVP Lashley and King came out there. MVP pretty much talked about, you talk about being fair, he says. He's lost respect for him ever since he's been running this show. And pretty much called everybody in New York slobs then. And everybody in New York is faking about how the New, when the New York cops show up then. Everybody gets all flattered in Miley Cyrus's ass. And pretty much he told her who's the real king of New York. Biggie ain't the king of New York. Or Frank Sinatra the king of New York. The king of New York is Lashley. But Tommy Dreamer came out some to say. Pretty much talking to MVP saying, I know you're one of the most underrated talent right here. But you need you got a problem with your mouth. Call Candy King is sell out saying like you're from Queens. Because he was from I mean you're from Queens, not Vegas. And that told Lashley like why are you getting cheap even these clowns right here. And when Dreamer kept talking, Kenny King knocked him to the ground and MVP pretty much went on talking. But Dreamer got Kendo stick and pulled Kenny King out there and got in the ring it with it. Birch Angle said, you know what, we're going to do this right now. Tommy Dreamer versus Bobby Lashley in a New York street fight to determine who's the real king of New York around here. Why this match happened, I don't know. But Dreamer winning against Lashley, then King of New York street fight. Pretty much a brawl, pretty much um, weapons being used, trash cans, candlesticks, and whatever. Last she was able to get the win on Dreamer Roll with the spear, so that match was alright. It was good. <sighs> Sorry. Mass and Rams talking about Terrence Terrell in the back. Everybody's talking about Terrence Terrell. Terrence Terrell's back. Terrence Terrell says she's getting a knockout title shot. We need to watch out for Mass and Rain, she says, because she's coming back. You know, come after that title. Gunner was talking to Sam Shaw somewhere in a like, hotel room where it was drawing and. That's when he was okay. He wanted to get some food. And pretty much Shawty said he stay here, but then he looked at Gunner's uh, army jacket right there, his army clothes. And they cut to the next match. Then Terrell, Terrence Terrell went against Madison Rain. Which this match was alright. Terrence Terrell got the win over Madison Rain coming in. No more contenders. Tender will face Gail Kim next week for the Night House Championship. It was pretty much a good It was an alright match, I'll say that. Gunner walked in the room and saw um, Sam Shaw and his army clothes and like, what are you doing? Take that stuff off right now. I have no idea where this is going with them this, at this point with Sam Shaw and why he's wearing army clothes. But we'll have to see. Homicide, DJ Z, and Manic when he's low-key, Tigre Uno, and Crazy Steve to one. I don't know why all this match happened. Just I guess just put some X Division guys together. Uh... Sorry. Loki hit the key crusher and won the match. It wasn't that much to say. It was quick, so I just don't want to actually do this again just for an X Division match. EC3, well, Ryan was in the back kind of pro on EC3. I was going to go on and have that what happened last week. Um, Bobby Roode came out talking about. Um, he wanted to be the number one contender for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. And pretty much Kurt Angle is the only way that can do it, he says. But it's just got to be one on one with Eric Young. It's supposed to be next week. That's pretty much Young came down and so he was crazy and everything. Rude pretty much talking about their history again and what they've done to match the Matches lately. Comps says he's the best in the world. He's the best in the world when they're in this business. And pretty much Bobby Rue won a title shot. It's been months, he says. Since he has a title shot, even Eric Young pretty much got on talking about pretty much made the best man win because you don't know who's going to be able to win this match. So that's next week for the number one contender spot for the World Heavyweight Championship. 
pretty much it went on with them, you know, telling who's this and who's this. Because pretty much they, in the end they said we're gonna pretty much we're gonna tear the roof off this son of a bitch in New York. He says. Uh, the bromance did some stupid segment with some dating thing on the phone. I don't know what the fuck that was. That was retarded. I don't get what they're doing to the bromance. Ryan went against EC3. Um, Ryan won by disqualifications. EC3 beat him with a chair and rocked that spot, tried to stop it. People are digging EC3 now because he's doing more of a heelish more type and more healer. And then, yeah, he did a stinger splash tonight and some other stuff. Even Rockstar Spud was getting a lot of props out there tonight. I'll say that people jam Spud, 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 Spud. So that was good. James Storm's music came and came out and talked about the great Sonata debut, which was the great, well, pretty much was Sonata, dressed as the great Muda. He came out in different face paint, the only yellow light type of face paint. As he went against Austin Aries, he remember, so Austin Aries changed his name to the roof. Um, it was very much a good match and all. Aries is on the most a lot of offensive, but pretty much didn't uh, Storm got involved and knocked Aries to the ground, and Sonata was able to his finisher beating his finisher beating uh, Austin Aries for the X Division Championship. Um, Chris Melendez review. Well, sorry, debut Chris Melendez. As he was an army vet, he pretty much lost his leg in Iraq, and he was his second dream he wanted was to become a professional wrestler. And pretty much they had Anderson and Curtin and uh, Team 3D in the ring since Curtin had helped him. Oh shit. Stupid ass game. Sorry about that. Just his game real quick. Yeah, but um, pretty much this guy, you know, he got his leg blown off in Iraq, and he was just trying to make it back. Sorry, I'm hitting the button. He pretty much served his country, and he got a lot of props for how they trained him, what he was gonna do. Well, I seen a little bit of video package. It looks like he can he can go. It's not gonna be like Sat Gal and SmackDown. We got a one leg wrestler. I think this Menendez do Menendez do will go out very well. Hopefully, he goes out very well in the shape TNA's in. And the triple threat. Tag team match: The Hardys, the Wolves, and the Team 3D was crazy fast paced action. I gotta say. He was just hitting finishes after finishes after finishes. You didn't know what the hell was going to happen with that, but it was great. To what um, the brawl had went down to be. Sorry about that, hold on. Pretty much the brawl happened. Um, it was pretty much a good match overall. Um. Yeah, it was a good match overall. Both all three teams went nuts and went crazy out there. I thought the Hardys were that with the Swanton Bomb, but Team 3D came out of nowhere to Team th with 3D. So probably it's going to be a few weeks till now until we get the who's the exact number one contender. But it, but it's supposed to not a few weeks uh, number one contender. Uh, I don't know why I said the number one contender, but pretty much it was a good show. 19 uh, Wrestling Review. Uh, pretty much comment, subscribe, tell me what you think, all that type of stuff. So, um, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later. Peace.